What's up, y'all? Back again with another super review. I'm so happy for this for this episode because it was lit. I promise you, it was so lit. Like I cannot express that enough. It was. Oh my god! Oh, so good. Okay, okay. So first things first. Kale and Khalifa were fighting Goku in the last episode, right? And they were actually doing really good. It really, it was going really good, especially like it started off like spoilers, by the way. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. I'm getting that off right now. Spoilers, okay? Spoilers. <laughs> anyway, get back into it. Basically, Kale and Khalifa were fighting Goku. Kale and Khalifa, uh, Kale. Uh, powered up at the end of the episode 113 she powered up she powered up too much and went to berserk she went berserk she went crazy right thing is she didn't fight it was good it was good that she didn't fight because she would just ruined a lot more stuff but like she didn't fight but she uh like basically Khalifa was talking to Kale and she was doing all this you know inspirational you know friendship and all that stuff you know the trope you know all that good stuff and Basically, Kale uh, realized uh, that Khalifa actually really enjoyed Kale's company. And she really liked her, you know, as a friend and everything, you know. I don't know if a friend could call her like a lesbian or whatever, but th that's a whole other thing, you know. <laughs> we'll get fan art, we'll get fan fiction and all that good stuff in the Dragon Ball community. Don't worry about that. Okay, anyway. But basically, she she uh, she snapped back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Anyway. <laughs> She snapped back. She was like, okay, I'm ready. You know, her eyes came back normal. She, yeah, all that good stuff, right? She came back. They fought. And then uh, Kale and Khalifa, they were fighting Goku. They was doing really good and all this good stuff. It was amazing, okay? Like, I have to say one thing. Like, the animation on this episode, great animation. I can say that right now. The animation was, oh, it was awesome. The shading. I am a sucker for shading because I suck at shading. I still try, but I suck at shading. And I love it when an animator does really good at shading or, or artist or whatever, you know. I love it. So, basically, it was so much shading in here. It was like shading galore. I just love it. Okay, anyway, enough of that. The song, the music was really good too, by the way. I'll say that when we get to that. But, like, basically, they fought. And then uh, Goku, he said, okay. Basically, he was like, okay, I can't fight them in my Super Saiyan 2 form. They're overpowering my Super Saiyan 2 form. So, now, he had to go resort to God. And he went to Super Saiyan God. I was like, oh, crap. He actually starting to use Super Saiyan God a lot more. Maybe Toriel Taro has a lot more influence now. He's like, you have to use God. Use God. You know, I didn't think about this in the last part, in, the, um, in episode 100, when Kale was fighting Goku first time. The first time Kale fought Goku, and he was using blue. Maybe he was using blue so little that he was in his God, he, like, he was at his God level type power level, you know what I mean? Like, which he could just win God, which he did now. And actually, I feel like that Kale is probably somewhere around God, she's God, super, <clears throat> excuse me, she is somewhere around Super Saiyan God tier. Like, I'm saying it right now, she is Super Saiyan God tier. Or she is damn close to it. I'm not going to say the base of later on, and then... Basically, as they were going Super Saiyan God, uh, they were basically Goku was kind of like manhandling them a little bit, but uh, not too much. But it was to the point where it was like, okay, we have to 
bring up our game, but they was doing really good with the tag team. The tag team was their tag team is probably one of the best tag teams I've ever seen in Dragon Ball. On God, I promise you. So I swear, like to me. So basically, after that, they went and uh, super and uh, super uh, Goku. Sorry, Goku had you know used his uh, tracking. He was tracking Khalifa with his energy ball, and you know. It was funny because like he shot two key blast key key giant key balls to the start to Kale and Khalifa, and Kale just sat there and just took it. You know that's how that that shows you how strong she is. She took the Super Saiyan guy ball and just just holding it there. You know she was struggling, but she was still holding it there. While Khalifa on her hand had to just run away from it because if she took that to the face, she would have got obliterated easily. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> That tells you that Kale's on a whole other level than Khalifa when she's in that form, you know what I mean? But um, basically, they did that, and uh, he hit Khalifa with the ball, with the with the fireball, and she got knocked out. Based, not, knocked out, quote unquote, knocked out, you know. And Kale came to her aid, and you know, oh my God, no, and all that good stuff, right? And then, the, and Kale was like, and Khalifa was like, okay, now. Time to use a secret weapon. And they did a flashback again, like they did with Frost. They did the flashback, flashback and they were like, hey, Chompa is actually really smart. I really think Chompa is, a, he's like one of those behind the scenes smart type dudes. He likes to go under the radar and do smart things, but he doesn't like to show that he's smart. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> anyway, um, he gave them Batar earrings and they snuck it in. So the Grand Priest obviously didn't, apparently didn't see it, and but I don't think it really matters because it's not really a weapon. But and that's just me. But uh, it was like it was so cool. It was awesome. I loved it. And then like Goku shot a command blast, a command man blast wave at them. But then as soon as he shot it at them, they fused with the Batara earrings, and then boom, we got K. Sorry, boom, we got. Kafla or Kefura, as they say in Japanese, Kefura. Oh my God, she is my new baby. She is my new baby. Like, oh my God, she is so amazing. Like, I cannot stress how awesome she looks. Like, she looks awesome. Okay, she, there is like, oh my God, it's so cool. She looks so good. She looks so awesome. Like, she is my new baby. Like, ugh. Ugh. okay. Anyway. Anyway, aside from that, she, like, she said, like, I know, like, Kale has stated, like, when her her and Khalifa were fighting together, she was saying, like, we're the strongest in the universes, which, obviously, that's a statement that a lot of people say that in Dragon Ball. They're like, I'm the strongest in the universe, and they get destroyed, like, two episodes later. You know what I mean? So, it's it's a statement. And then Champa says it himself, was like, okay, that's not true, because you're still the girl that got destruction. If he was the strongest in all the universes, they'll be stronger than you, right? It was stronger than the God of Destructions, and that's not true. So, <laughs> it, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's statements. You don't worry about it. There's no power scaling or anything like that, you know what I mean? So, basically, uh, after that, they, they fused, and they start to fight Goku and Super Saiyan God, and, like, Kale was moving so fast, like, they, usually when they show somebody, like, uh, jumping off, like, a side of a ledge, you can see their trajectory, you cannot see Kafla's tra trajectory. Like, you cannot see her moving. It was so fast. It was like they used one frame, and then they just used the next frame of her way over here. It was like that fast. It was like, like whoa, what? Then I don't, I don't, you don't see that a lot unless you're, like, dip, dispo. You know, like, that was insane. And there, she was, like, the bass drop when she powered up. When she first, when Ke Kefla first powered up. That bass drop was sick. I have to admit, that bass drop was sick, okay? The music in this episode was amazing. And the animation, everything about it was just, oh, orgy, you know. But um, <laughs> anyway, it was that was really good. And then it uh, basically it ended with K Kafla punching uh, God Goku in the face. And that was pretty much it. And it was... It was really good. It was good. I give it a solid ten out of like I saw. I, matter of fact, I give it a solid twenty out of ten. Fight me on it however you want. I'm giving it a twenty out of ten. I don't give up. Okay. 
It was awesome. Okay, I loved it. I really loved this episode. It was so good. This is probably one of my favorite episodes because just because I like Kale and Khalifa. I love Kale the most, but Khalif Kale and Khalifa together is just <sighs> it's just amazing. I can't I can't keep it. It's so it's so good. I love to see them together. It's like you know of. Um, I don't know, like, it's just really good. And besides, anyway, besides from that, this episode was great. I don't have to tell you to you straight up, it was great. This is my live reaction. You know, I'm not going to, like, break it down or anything. I like Geekdom and MJ and all the other Dragon Ball YouTubers do that extra stuff. This is my live reaction. And, you know, hopefully one day, you know, if y'all are watching this, I shout out to y'all because you guys are amazing. I cannot. I would not be doing this if I didn't watch Geekdom's video or Detective Q's video or whatever you want to call them, or MJ's video or you know all the all the Dragon Ball YouTubers. If I didn't watch the video, I wouldn't want to do this right now. You know what I mean? So shout out to y'all. You guys are awesome. Hopefully we can collab one day. I don't know when I have the time to do so, but hopefully we can do that. I want to be able to collab with y'all. But enough of the like. Enough of that. You know. Also. Guys, follow me on my, on my uh, Twitter, on Instagram, and all that good stuff. Link is in the description below. Quick plug because I know you guys want to see me on social media, right? I give you some. I give y'all like I like to give inspirational stuff on my Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff because y'all need it. You know, everybody needs it. You know, I need it for myself. Everybody needs it. You know, I get inspiration. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate you guys. All your hard work, everything will come to pass. Do not worry. Okay? So, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>